Across the realm of cinema, there are stars whose performances stand out, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. One such luminary is an actress known for her ability to adapt to different roles. She's widely praised for her work in movies like From Here to Eternity and The King, and I, although she projected an image of elegance and sophistication in public, there are stories that reveal her funny and relatable side. One memorable scene she's known for is the beach moment in From Here to Eternity. It's a scene that many people remember long after seeing the film. Share your fond memories or experiences related to this classic actor below. We'll be exploring some interesting tidbits about her life and career. Stay tuned for more insights. In the world of cinema, there was a performer whose talent left an indelible impression on audiences and peers alike. This individual's presence on screen, alongside other notable figures, elevated the quality of each production in which they were involved. They had a remarkable ability to portray a diverse range of characters, from soft-spoken to fiercely independent, captivating viewers worldwide. Throughout their career, this individual collaborated with esteemed directors and actors, bringing depth and authenticity to every role they undertook. Their performances were marked by emotional depth and resonance, garnering critical acclaim and widespread admiration. One of their most memorable roles was in a film that earned them an Academy Award nomination, showcasing their talent in conveying nuanced emotions with subtlety and grace. Beyond their individual contributions, this performer helped redefine the portrayal of women in the industry, portraying strong, independent characters that challenged conventional gender roles. Overall, this individual's influence on the film industry remains significant, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers to push boundaries and explore the depths of their craft. Deborah Carr's signature in cement for Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood was actually cast on the set of The King, and I in 1956, not at the theater itself. In an affair to remember, her character, Terry McKay, is invited by Cary Grant's character to view the ship's rudder, located aft. This scene mirrors a moment in Titanic 40 years later when another woman, facing emotional turmoil about her future, finds herself aft. Initially, during the filming of Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison in 1957, her co-star Robert Mitchum worried Carr would be like her prim characters. However, after she swore at director John Huston during a take Mitchum, who was in the water, nearly drowned laughing. Despite this rocky start, Carr and Mitchum developed an enduring friendship that lasted until Mitchum's death in 1997. In the pursuit of her desired role in a classic film, an actress found herself unexpectedly cast in another movie. Expressing her aspiration to portray a character to a production chief, she was informed that another studio held the rights to the film she longed to be a part of. However, she was offered a leading role in another story under her current studio's ownership. Despite her strong desire for the role she initially sought, the studio declined to loan her for the film due to her recent appearance in a movie that shared a similar setting. The studio's decision redirected her cinematic journey, placing her in the heart of a different narrative. In a twist of fate, a role in another movie almost saw a different actress considered for the part before final casting. The press briefly entertained the idea, but ultimately, the original actress stepped into the role. Thus, her cinematic path unfolded with unexpected turns and decisions, shaping her career in ways she might not have foreseen. In 1991, a famous actress went on a special journey that led to her receiving a notable award. She faced challenges, but eventually won the award, having been nominated for it four times before. This actress had previously won three awards from the New York Film Critics and a Golden Globe for a memorable role. What makes her story interesting is that she was nominated for a particular performance in a movie that was the only one in its category within a Best Picture nominee that year. This nomination showed how talented she was and how much she influenced the film industry. She once took on a role in a movie at her father's request, which led to her collaborating with another well-known filmmaker. This connection added depth to her career, showcasing not just her acting skills, but also the unique opportunities that can shape an artist's journey. Her life and career are filled with interesting experiences, showing the complexities of the film industry. It's a story of success, collaboration, and a lasting impact that continues to inspire others. It's truly a fascinating tale. And from here to eternity, Deborah Carr played Karen Holmes alongside Montgomery Clift. Interestingly, they share just one scene, without any dialogue between them. In another film called Starman, released years later, there's a clip from From Here to Eternity, which was around 30 years old by then. This scene features Carr and Burt Lancaster in a famous beach love scene. 
Fast forward to 1984, Jeff Bridges starred in Against All Odds, another Columbia Pictures film which drew comparisons to From Here to Eternity due to its low beach shot on the movie poster. However, unlike the earlier picture, it didn't feature seawater. Tragically, in February 1961, Carr suffered a miscarriage when she was two months pregnant with her husband Peter Virgil's baby. In a surprising turn of events, a famous actor insisted on a particular choice for a role in a much-loved movie, leading to some interesting stories from behind the scenes. During the making of a certain film, when one actress turned down the role, another was suggested by Yelbrenner, who was very sure about his choice. Despite not being a singer, the actress convincingly portrayed her character, with someone else providing the singing voice. The hot weather during filming caused her to lose a lot of weight, earning her a funny nickname. The actor's determination to cast her added depth and authenticity to the character, making the production more interesting. Her changes during filming, both in her appearance and performance, caught the attention of audiences worldwide. These stories from behind the scenes give us a better understanding of the effort and creativity that go into making movies. They show us that making movies is a collaborative effort and can be just as fascinating as the stories on screen. This narrative, full of determination and creativity, continues to inspire filmmakers and fans alike. It reminds us of the power of storytelling in all its forms. One of the 27 actresses got nominated for an Academy Award for her role in a musical, specifically The King, and I, this classic movie, drew in audiences worldwide thanks to her outstanding performance. Her grandsons Joe Alexander and Thomas Shrapnel, who are the children of her daughter Francesca, are carrying on her traditions. In The King and I, the dresses she wore were amazing creations by Irene Sheriff. Each dress, with its many folds, hoops, and underskirts, weighed between 30 to 40 pounds. It's impressive that she managed to move gracefully despite the weight of the outfits, showing her commitment to her craft. The charm she brought to the screen wasn't just from her acting skills, but also from her ability to bring her character's clothes to life. Every outfit was like an extra layer to her character, making her performance more profound. It's no surprise that her role as Anna Leonowens is remembered in movie history. Deborah Carr's impact on the king, and I goes beyond the movie, it's a tradition that her family continues. Her talent, grace, and commitment still inspire new actors and filmmakers. Her story, full of successes and difficulties, is a source of encouragement for those who have big dreams. In one of the most beloved movies of all time, a certain actor's performance captivated audiences worldwide. Their role in the film showcased both talent and charm on screen. However, their singing in the movie was actually done by someone else, who also lent their voice to another classic. This actor wasn't limited to just movies. They also appeared in a radio adaptation of a well-known story alongside a famous co-star, expanding their career into different mediums. One of the most unforgettable moments in this actor's filmography occurred during a beach scene in a particular movie. Originally scripted one way, the scene took on a whole new feel when filmed differently, becoming a highlight of the film and turning its location into a tourist hotspot. This actor's ability to bring characters to life and leave a lasting impression on audiences speaks volumes about their talent and dedication. Each role they took on, whether on screen or on the airwaves, showed off their immense skill and left a lasting impact on entertainment. Indeed, their work continues to inspire aspiring actors and movie enthusiasts alike, showcasing the timeless appeal of their performances. In the story of Deborah Carr's life, there are moments of both sadness and joy. One sad event was the loss of her brother, Ted Trimmer, in a road rage incident in 24. But amidst this sorrow, she found happiness in being a great aunt to Benjamin Beardle. Throughout her career, she faced many challenges. In 1985, during a play called The Corn is Green, she struggled with stage fright. This led to some bad reviews, but it also showed how brave she was in dealing with her fears. Despite these challenges, Carr's story lives on in the hearts of those who love movies and theater. Her work is remembered by people of all ages, showing how powerful her acting and spirit were. Her life teaches us that people can overcome tough times. In a classic movie alongside Cary Grant called An Affair to Remember, she made history as one of the three unforgettable films they made together. She received an Oscar in 1994 for her outstanding work in the film industry. During her long career, she faced many tough situations, especially while filming King Solomon's Mines. Dealing with extreme heat, sickness, and dangerous conditions, she showed incredible strength. When trouble arose with the local Maasai tribe, she found safety up a tree, staying calm despite the chaos. Despite the challenges, the filming continued, showing her dedication to her work. 
Her ability to handle difficult situations showed her commitment and professionalism, leaving a lasting impression on the production.